Hey, what's up everybody, Heidi here, and today I want to show you exactly how to create a perfect Instagram Sorry about that, addiction. Today I want to show you exactly how to create a perfect Instagram real cover that also fits on your feed. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. This right here is my Instagram real tab. Now take a look at this cover. Everything I want to show on it fits within this big frame. Now let's slide to my Instagram feed and notice how everything also fits on this little frame. Now how do you do that? Easy. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in yeah. under two minutes. But first I want to say thank you to all of you who watched, liked and subscribed after watching my first ever YouTube video with my face in it. That video will be linked at the end of this one. Now back to today's video. The app we're going to need to create the perfect Instagram real cover that also fit on your feed is called Canva. Go ahead and open up Canva. Tap on plus. Tap on custom size. For width, we want to type in 1080 and for height, we want to tap in 1920, then create design. Next, you're going to import the image you want to use as your cover. Tap on plus to do that. Go to camera roll, find your image, add to page. Next, we want to go ahead and tap on plus, tap on elements and search square. Add a square. Now move the square up and down until you find the middle of the photo. Now very quickly, everything within this photo is going to show up on your real tab, but only what's within the frame is going to show up on your Instagram feed. This is where you want to go ahead and adjust your photo so that you have exactly what you want to have within the frame. So go ahead and tap anywhere on the photo and then resize it, adjust it until you like what you have in the middle of the frame. Tap done. Okay, I like that. Next you want to go ahead and tap on the square and then tap on delete. Now one last very important step, you want to go ahead and tap on this arrow above, tap on download and then change PNG to JPEG. Increase the quality to 100 and then download. Lastly, go ahead and tap on save image. Now, just before you go, I uploaded a photo to Instagram using my test account just to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like on my Instagram real tab and this is what it looks like on my Instagram feed. I hope that was helpful. If so, please make sure to give this video a like. It helps with the algorithm. And also consider hitting the subscribe button. And when you do, tap on the notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I upload a brand new video. But just before you go, remember, anything can become content if you record it, edit it, and post it. With that being said, guys, stay creative, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.